Nepal is a fascinating diversified country that draws tourists for a variety of reasons. Some come for the mountains, expecting to climb or trek in the Himalayas, while others are drawn to the culture and the famous city of Kathmandu, and yet others come in search of spiritual awakening. In today's video, let's find out the top 10 best places to visit in Nepal. But before we get started, subscribe to our video and turn on notifications. Number 10. Lumbini Lumbini is notable for being the birthplace of Siddhartha Gautama, also known as Buddha Shakyamuni, the historic Buddha. Lumbini is a nice stopover on the way from Pokhara to the Chitwan National Park and is located around 250 kilometers from Kathmandu. There is a sense of calm in this pilgrimage town, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The majority of the tourists are Buddhist pilgrims from all around the globe who are retracing Buddha's journey through his life stages. The Maya Devi Temple, which is devoted to Buddha's mother, is said to be the location of Buddha's birth. It houses an old stone carving representing Buddha's birth from the 2nd century AD. Number 9. Everest Mount Everest, the world's tallest peak, rises to a height of 8,848 meters, that's 29,028 feet, following the non-legendary first climb of Mount Everest by Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay in 1953, trekking in the Mount Everest region became popular. Many more people have summited the mountain since then, but more go to Everest Base Camp only to catch a sight of the peak high above. The mountain has seen its fair share of tragedy and drama in recent years. Everest hiking and climbing have been impacted by the 2015 earthquake and past avalanches, as well as disagreements amongst climbers on the peak. Number 8. Swayambunath Swayambunath, located on a mountaintop west of Kathmandu, is the Kathmandu Valley's second most prominent shrine after Baudhanath. It is more affectionately known as the Monkey Temple because of the native monkeys who occupy portions of the temple. The Swayambu Stupa, which is decorated with eyes of the omnipresent God, is the temple's focal point. The temple complex originates from the 5th century and was initially a prehistoric worship site. The Swayambunath Temple Complex was damaged by the 2015 earthquake. However, renovations have already been completed and the temple is returned to its previous state. Number 7. Langtang Region With high passes, expansive vistas, historic monasteries, and gorgeous mountain scenery. The Langtang region, which includes Langtang National Park, is a fantastic hiking destination. During the spring hiking season, rhododendron forests bloom, bringing color to the landscape. Despite its near proximity to Kathmandu, the Sherpa-inhabited region is less developed than some of Nepal's other major trekking locations, and the routes are typically less congested. Along the trail, Villages with guest houses and meals may be found. I'll bet they are more spaced out than in other hiking zones. The 2015 earthquake entirely destroyed certain settlements in this area. Number 6. Chitwan National Park Chitwan National Park is the place to visit if you want to see Nepal from a new perspective. This is a fantastic spot to see wildlife and has a safari-like feel. 
Chitwan has a tropical monsoon climate, which is considerably different from what you'd expect to find in Nepal, at a height of only 100 meters in some regions, much lower than Kathmandu's 1,400 meters. Visitors come to observe animals, rhinos, Bengal tigers, leopards, sloth bears, gaur or buffalo, deer, and a variety of other animals live in the park. The rivers and streams are home to freshwater dolphins, the Gangetic, and crocodiles. However, they are rarely observed. Chitwan is a haven for ornithologists with over 500 kinds of birds. Number 5. Annapurna Region The Annapurna region is one of Nepal's most popular trekking destinations, with treks lasting anywhere from a few days to several weeks. Three primary routes overlap and join in the Annapurna region, and you can choose to tackle a section or a variant of them. The paths are well marked and simple to navigate. The Annapurna circuit which circles Annapurna mountain is around 21 days and is quite popular among those with ample time. Because most of the tea houses along the route serve their unique kind of fried apple pie, this circuit is commonly referred to as the apple pie circuit. Number 4. Pokhara Pokhara is one of Nepal's most picturesque cities, located at the base of the foothills and surrounded by some of the world's highest mountains, including Daulagiri, Manaslu, and Annapurna 1. Pokhara is the Himalayan gateway and the beginning point for hikes to Jamsom and the Annapurna areas for hikers. It's also a place to unwind for a while either before or after a hike. It is Nepal's second largest city by population after Kathmandu. However, it does not seem like a huge metropolis. You'll notice the considerably cleaner air and pleasant atmosphere almost immediately as you travel 200 kilometers east of Kathmandu. Number 3 the Baudhanath Stupa. The Baudhanath Stupa, located just outside of Kathmandu, is one of the world's biggest stupas, dating back to the 6th century, probably even earlier. It, like Bhaktapur, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is located on the historic trade route to Tibet. The stupa is a sign of enlightenment in and of itself, but the symbolism of Baudhanath is particularly strong. Each form represents one of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and sphere, which are also the five of Buddha's qualities. Their oneness reflected in abstract form in the shape of the stupa represents the structure of the cosmos itself. The stupa was somewhat damaged during the 2015 earthquake, however it has since been rebuilt. Number 2. Bhaktapur Bhaktapur, the third of the royal cities, is located just outside of Kathmandu on the historic trade route to Tibet. The commerce route was both an arterial connection and a key source of revenue for Bhaktapur because of its relative isolation at the time. The city was able to grow independently and in ways that set it apart from the other two cities. In contrast to Patan and Kathmandu, Bhaktapur has mostly a Hindu populace. Durbar Square is the greatest site to start a tour of the city, and it is home to the royal palace, as well as a number of temples. The entire region has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 1 Kathmandu. Kathmandu, Nepal's capital and largest metropolis, is unlike any other city on the planet. The city's aging structures stand in sharp contrast to the vibrant energy that pervades the streets. 
while street vendors push their wares and people go about their everyday lives against a backdrop of antique temples and sculpted structures. The fragrance of incense wafts from the storefronts. Kathmandu along with Bhaktapur and Patan was one of three competing royal towns for hundreds of years. These three are so close together that they almost run into each other today. Nepal is the best place if you want a hybrid of scenic beauty and cultural spirituality. Give a like to this video and let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video.